to Cyber Studies. This is your first time here. My name's Giovanni, and today is episode three of our PowerShell playlist. So today we're gonna learn about variables. Without any further ado, let's get into it. All right, folks. So as mentioned in the video, today we're gonna get into some variables. Now, variables are really cool. Uh, it takes a lot of uh, heavy lifting and uh, scripting, coding, programming, and makes light work. Um, so what is a variable, right? Variables are basically a uh, unit of memory that you can store things on your, you know, your environment. Now, uh, I like to think of it as like a bucket, right? You have like your, your stereotypical steel tin bucket and you put your, like your broom, your dustpan, whatever inside of it. And on the front of it, you label it cleaning supplies, right? And so you can put that bad boy on the shelf and, uh, say for example, you need to clean something later on down the road. You can invoke said bucket and uh, utilize the contents of it. You can, you know, manipulate, take advantage, what have you. Um, so today, let us start by doing a get variable. And what this is gonna show us is all of our, uh, like our preference, our environment variables, uh, the things that kind of come with the machine, like out of the, out of the box, right? <laughs> uh, in our PowerShell session. So what we can do is say, for example, we want to create our own variable. We can do either new or set variable, right? And we're gonna name this bad boy. Uh, and I'm, I'm gonna show you the long way first and then we'll do a little bit easier uh, way about this. Uh, so we're gonna do test, do value inside of said variable, and we're gonna put it in hello, cliche <laughs> and so we did that we are going to invoke our variable which in windows they utilize this like money sign dollar sign uh symbol so money test and just like that hello world <laughs> now i mentioned there's a little bit easier way of doing this we can do that money sign that we talked about test equals and then we can do double quotes, goodbye world. And wouldn't you know it, changed it just like that. Way easier. <laughs> now, you may have noticed when I did my uh, double quotes, our, uh, our words here turned blue. And that's because in PowerShell, we have now added a uh, string there it is, that's the word, string to our variable. Now, with variables, you don't have to do strings, you can do numbers, you know, what have you. You can do new commandlets, you know, you can do a lot of really cool stuff with this, uh, which brings me to a beautiful segue. So we're gonna do test, and we're going to do that number that we talked about, those integers or whatever. Well, when we did our little quotes, you'll notice that if we try to manipulate our variable by saying, hey, that plus two, we should get 12, right? Well, in this case, we're actually gonna get 102. And that's because it's treating the initial 10 as characters. Uh, if you look at up here at the top, goodbye space world, everything in here is treated as a, a, a character or a value. That space even is, is literal. It, it will save a spot for the space. <laughs> so if we wanted to do some of the um, integers that we talked about, sorry, we just do 10, no quotes or anything. And then plus two, we will now get 12. <laughs> Now, I also mentioned earlier that you can store commandlets in here. This is where variables get really cool. Uh, you can utilize, uh, say for example, you're doing reoccurring um, scripting. You wanna include things like write host um, to you know, the, the user, and then you wanna have like, a particular thing afterwards. Instead of typing out every single time, you can nest it into a variable and invoke it whenever you need. So we are going to create a uh, date time uh, variable and we're going to set that to equal um, get uh, let's do date yeah that looks good and so now whenever we invoke that date time we now have this date and time <laughs> it's kind of late over here um, so another thing i want to bring up and it's kind of real quick uh, 
when it comes to variables, you can have spaces and special characters and that kind of stuff. Um, it's not good practice, but if you wanted to do that, I'll show you how to do that real quick. Uh, it's just these um, brackets here. We're gonna say date, space, time. And you can set that to be gross. And just like that, you can invoke date, space, time, egress. <laughs> yes, so we can do that. Now, the reason why I wanted to do the, uh, the date, time, right, which shows it's kind of late over here in Ohio, um, we could do some modification, some manipulation, if you will, to the uh, variable. Uh, because it stores information in there, PowerShell is really good with that tab complete. If you know your um, you know, modifiers, you can do it here any way you want. But if you do the period and you hit tabbed, it now gives you some things you can extract from our variable. So let's say um, hour. This should give us the 22 in our time. I use military time, <laughs> uh, the right time. Uh, if you wanted to do, uh, you know, let's go back into here, um, day. This should give you the, uh, the 17th. So where this is really helpful and useful is say for example, you wanted to create a, uh, a variable with this and you wanna extract the date or the time. And you wanna say, hey, if it's greater than this number, then do this. Or if it's less than this number, do that. So some ways you can kind of go about uh, modifying your, uh, your workflow, right? Now, another thing you can do, and I really haven't found many uses for this, but it is possible to do so, so I'll just mention it is you can do multiple variables at the same time. And you can do it as simple as like, hey, you want all three of these to equal 100, right? And then anytime you invoked your um, variables, they would all equal that integer that you set, right? Now, that's kind of cool, I guess. Uh, another use case is you can do uh, a, let's keep it simple do C and then you can actually go through and do three separate uh, values. So you can do red, uh, 10, uh, true. And then now if you were to, you know, invoke these, these are all going to be the ones that were mentioned in that, uh, combo <laughs> so kind of a cool little neat little trick you can do uh, more of like a party trick than you know, anything else i can think of a few use cases like in like admin work but outside of that it's not going to be like crazy you'll be throwing out a, a handful of variables at the same time um lastly is i mentioned objects right and, and we're going to get more into this in the next video the next video is all about objects um but in objects we utilize this guy right here and I'll bring it up again, but basically this is the object in the pipeline. Uh, it doesn't really make sense right now, and we'll get more into that in the next video. <laughs> Leave you on the edge of your seat. So again, uh, that's all for today. A little bit of a shorter video, uh, shorter than the last one. Uh, if you like what you saw today, please consider liking and subscribing. Share this with your friends. And uh, outside of that, have a good evening. Thank you.